what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? New video footage from an opposite angle showing George Floyd being murdered by Minneapolis police has surfaced. And it basically confirms what we already knew. They murdered the man in cold blood. Now I had this video for a couple of days, but I didn't report on it because I was waiting on some more extended footage. Uh, didn't want to continue to wait on that footage. So I'm reporting on this now. Listen fam, it's clear cut. When they first made the arrest, when they first put the handcuffs on the dude and they started walking him away, they walked him all the way across the street. I suspect that they did that to get him out of the line or to get their actions out of the line of the public view. Because there's a lot of people standing around right there by the store where he was arrested at. Well, the, I guess the deli, where he was arrested. It's like they walked him off so that they could do what they did to him and nobody would be the wiser. But what happened is people started congregating. People started huddling up and they eventually got an audience. But, psh, it's like that arrogance just kicked in and they were like, okay, so what? We still gonna kill him and ain't nothing you can do about it. So they arrested that clown on Friday, Derek Chauvin, the one who put his knee to George's neck, but they didn't arrest the others yet. The chief of police said that he expect charges to come, charges to come, but they haven't come at this point. The trip part about it is, if it was either of us, let's say me and three other people were accused of the same thing, putting our knee to a cop neck and snuffing the life out of him, holding him down, pinning him down until the air left his body, or any person. It could be any person out there. They would have locked all of us up and figured it out later. They would have sorted everything out later. They would have sorted out how they was gonna charge us later. But at the minimum, they would have locked us up. But they get to have special privileges. They get to enjoy freedom. More importantly, they get to continue to breed. They are the criminals. They are the thugs. But they get to enjoy oxygen. They get to enjoy their families. They get to continue to enjoy their hobbies. Kick it, go to the bars, vacation. But George is dead. And he's the tax paying citizen. There should be some type of moral flexibility when dealing with human beings. If you're a cop, just like when there's a situation with regular people, let's say you're in the club. Somebody bumps into you and don't say, excuse me. You check them about it. And you see, you catch a snap because, oh, this thing is spiraling out of control. I'm dealing with a straight up nut. Do you escalate on pride? Or do you say, you know what? You catch a snap and say, man, this ain't even worth it, man. I'm about to lay this food. I'm about to kill this clown. Or I'm about to risk my life just because somebody bumped me. 
and then say, excuse me, or somebody stepped on my shoe or somebody skipped me in line. Somebody fender bended my car. So I'm going to jump out and go crazy. Somebody cut in front of me while I was driving. I'm going crazy. Now I'm going to risk somebody shooting into my car, killing me or my passenger, or me defending myself and dropping this food. At some point, a sensible person would say, it ain't even worth it. But dude had no sensibilities. He had over eight minutes to take his foot off that dude's neck. He had four minutes after the dude went unconscious, when he went stiff, when he stopped moving. And he continued to keep his foot on his neck, his knee to his neck. Why? He wanted to kill him. And because of his arrogance, he felt that, hey man, I ain't never been punished in the past. I've been getting away with all these other violations. What's one more? They showed that this dude had over a dozen violations in his 20 years. They like to say it when, when, it, when they're reporting uh, police officer violations, when they get written up and stuff like that, or somebody has a grievance against one, they say, well, you know, people file grievances against cops all the time. Does not necessarily mean that the cop did anything wrong. I get it. Don't necessarily mean he did anything right either. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.